today we're talking about jackhammer bits, uh, specifically this category of chisel bits, um, and use cases for each of these options we have here in the table. Um, let's start off with this moil point. A moil point bit, as you can see, comes to a single point. Um, that's important because it gives this bit a lot of breaking power. It takes the full force of the jackhammer and drives it to one single point. So you're going to use this if you're maybe breaking up rocks or you've got a real stubborn slab of concrete or something difficult and you need the full force of the jackhammer, you're going to want to use a moil point. Now we're going to jump over, skip to a wide chisel now. Wide chisel, it's going to give you a lot more control. Not just um, control of the jackhammer, it's obviously easier to rest a jackhammer on a wider surface, but uh, it's going to give you uh, control of the uh, breaking direction of the concrete that you're breaking apart. If you're breaking up a slab of concrete, you're not just going to jackhammer in one section and then turn around and jackhammer somewhere else. Um, it's gonna take you all day. You're never gonna get the job done. Most workers work in a row, starting at the edge of the slab. And you hit one section, you move over about eight, 10 inches, you hit another section, you're effectively perforating that slab. And then with a wide chisel, you're driving the cracks in that same direction and that whole strip is going to break off in one or a couple different pieces and then you can break that up and it'll be easy to move out and it's much more effective you'll get out of there faster so that's where wide chisels come in now if you don't know if you need a wide chisel or a moil point then you probably would want to go with a narrow chisel this is kind of the best of both worlds it has a ton of breaking power and it gives you a pretty good amount of control um, this is kind of the Goldilocks option of these three on the table here. Um, all of these are Fordham brand. Um, they're all one and a quarter inch bits. And uh, we also offer them in one and an eighth inch bits if you need that. And that just about covers it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, go to powerpack.net to learn more.